How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great and welcome back on another episode on One Piece episode 151. Now towards the end of the previous episode, the Monkey D. Luffy has arrived and now wanting a piece of Bellamy. Luffy has gone to Bellamy to get the gold Bellamy took from Cricket. And from the looks of things, it doesn't look like Bellamy is looking forward to give that gold anytime soon. So, in order for Luffy to get to the gold, he's gonna have to go through Bellamy. So, without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. Ah, it's about to go down, baby. Let's go. I like the look on Bellamy's face. It is a villain worthy when it's a villain worthy. Hmm, right away. Ooh, here he comes. I guess it's somehow called the code of pirates. <laughs> the stage has been set. The stage has been set. Sento Jumbi Bellamy San and Luffy Chan or Luffy San. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, there is something about Bellamy's design, there is something about about him that um man that spring 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 ability does do some damage In na chokuda. Now I'm not sure how long this fight is gonna go, but they better give us a good fight. This better be a good fight. Hmm. Do you guys see how fast he just came out Luffy? Hmm. 
Now that is a different attack tactics. Now with that speed and force, if he punches Luffy like that, he will make a dent. Oh, Luffy is getting upset. Here he comes. Here he comes. Damn! At the same time, if Bellamy gets hit with that type of speed and agility and force, it will impact. It will really connect real good. And I believe that's just what happened. Damn! He's not moving. Look at the dent on his face! The dent of Luffy's fist! He's out. Luffy knocked them out, flat. Now it's sitting in, now the tail, now it's sitting in in their minds. Wow. Wow. The fight didn't take long at all. I thought it would be... Man. I wish the fight had lasted longer. I wish the fight had lasted longer. Bellamy got that look as... Like, I like a, a true villain, you know what I mean? I wish the fight had lasted longer. Damn, he's still knocked out. His own man can't believe it. His second in command can't believe that his captain just lost. Wow, <laughs> that was an interesting fight. I wish it had lasted longer. That would have been so much better. <laughs> All right. Mihawk must be wondering what in the blue moon has happened to Zoro over the over the years. Well, you told him try to surpass you. Now he's doing just that, Mihawk. I wonder why Mihawk choose to travel alone 
I wonder why he travels by himself and he doesn't have any subordinates or, you know, any helper or something. He just travels alone. World Government Supreme Authorities, the Five Elder Stars. So these are the uh, the top dogs in the world government, huh? Man, these guys look tough. They look like badasses. So the world government are mad that um, the world government are mad that Crocodile lost to Monkey Doo Luffy, and it had set. It has set commotion in their premises. Now they have set, uh, and they have decided to rectify the situation by sending another or bringing up another uh, warlord. Man, so many names, uh, I cannot keep up right now. So many names. Scum of the sea. Man, they call him scum of the sea. Oh man. Mayhawk. They're looking for a successor to take over Lafitte?
Mm. So that's what this whole commotion is all about. The white beard himself? Face and black beard. Whoa, he's huge. This guy is so huge. Strong man in the world. Strongest man in the world, white beard. Now I'm going to go back and look at each and every names and each and every powerhouse that they showed us on this episode. So many powerhouses right now. So many names. That must be, yeah, that's Shanks. Yeah, remember Whitebeard said if Shanks wants to talk to him, he should come to him instead of sending sending someone. So this guy, Refti or Tete or whatever his name is, is part of Blackbeard's army. This is interesting, guys. This episode is a heavy episode. It's heavy, 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 heavy. This is the same. This was the same guy uh, that spoke to Luffy on the previous episode. Rafiti, yeah, Rafiti. The champion, Jesus Burgess? Woo! Woo! <laughs> the supersonic. 
Oh my goodness. The Reaper. Oh, that's the same guy. Oh, that's the guy on the. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. What? In a blue moon. Why are they doing this to me right now? Why? Oh my goodness, this episode is heavy. Sugoi Sodaro san. This episode is heavy. So many names, a lot of heavyweights, right? The reason why I'm saying this is simply because, due to the fact that Luffy has taken that crocodile, who is one of the seventh warlord. Now, the world government are looking, or is looking, to replace him with somebody who will take his place. And in order for them to do this, they're going to have to take down Monkey D. Luffy. Now, Blackbeard himself is going to have a meeting with Shanks. What they're going to discuss, I don't know. Uh, Shanks is kind of Luffy's brother, father, uncle, whatever you want to call it, right? Him and Luffy are very tight. So I'm not sure what type of conversation Shank is going to have with Whitebeard. And if Whitebeard is a good guy or not, I don't even know. But what I do know is he is a big, huge ass man. Now, with all those wires, all those drip, all those things in his body helping him to breathe i'm not sure uh, how long he will last or he can last in the fight because he looks he's huge but he looks pretty weak with all those uh drip energy wires going through his body to help him breathe and him drinking all the time i'm not sure how that helps his health what i do know is <laughs> Blackbeard Pirate Captain, Blackbeard himself, Marshall D. Teach. That's his name. His actual name, Marshall D. Teach. Blackbeard. You see, oh, now, now that I think about it, if you guys remember when he met Luffy, there's this, you know, that there's a way they presented him. You can tell that there is something, there is something weird about him, there is something interesting about him, and they keep showing him and Luffy. They look, you know, they zoom in his face, and they zoom in Luffy's face. There is something there between them. I'm not sure if they are related somehow. I'm not sure if they are, if somehow, some way, Blackbeard is related to Luffy or something. I'm, I'm not sure what they are trying to do, but there is a connection between the two. And he's, he motivated Straw Hat Pirates to go after their dreams and do not hold back. Now that he has seen the amount of uh, bounty on Luffy's head, now Blackbeard is going after Luffy. He is going after the same boy he told to go after his dreams without looking back. I'm taking my time on this episode because I, 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 this episode is heavy. I just can't end it like that, okay? Then we have some of his subordinates, okay? Blackbeard Pirate, Hell's Man, the Champion, Jesus Borges, uh, not Burgers. I thought it was Burgers because, it, you know, Jesus Borges, okay? This is part of Blackbeard's Pirate's Men. Damn, 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 damn. And look at what he did to uh, <laughs> um, uh, Bellamy's commander. He whooped his ass with one move. I was looking for a head worth over 100 million. And he has found one. Him and his men went after. And this one is called the Reaper. Doc Q. I believe he's the same one. 
that said that explosion on that episode and i mean he didn't act tough at all man this episode is heavy man i'm getting chills i'm getting boof i'm getting goof bumps and this guy called uh lafitte now this is black Be look at how big this man is look at how huge he is right this episode is heavy man it is heavy episode okay red hair pirate uh, rock star okay and you see the bounty on on him 94 million benaris i guess he is one of uh shank's men okay and lafitte here and we see mihawk and we see this guy let's what Hold on, wait a second. I'm, I'm taking my time. World Government Supreme Authorities, the five elder stars. They're talking about replacing Crocodile with someone worthy. And the World Government are working with the navies, though. You know, if they are called the World Government, that means they work with the navies and with the warlords because that way they will be benefiting on both ends you know so right here warlord of the seven don quinx quinoxty do flamingo former bounty 340 million banner berries okay 340 that means he is strong that means he is that damn good and then here's another one uh war warlord of the sea Bartolome kuma former former bounty 296 million berries i think i called it berries before no it's berries sorry i, I, I didn't i wasn't looking at that properly so so um, and we see this woman here, Navy HQ Vice Admiral, great tactician, Susuru or Suru. So we see the Navy are also called in this meeting. They are taking part on this meeting with the world government and, and one of the seven warlords. And the seven warlords that couldn't make it were sent their commander or one of their own to go speak for them right and i believe that's the reason why you have lafferty or lafferty and navy hq fleet admiral you know uh sent sin goku now i'm not sure if, if i'm going to remember all the names that i've just seen but do rest assured that I remember Do Flamingo right now. I remember, I remember his name, Blackbeard. I can I cannot forget that name. Whitebeard, I cannot forget it. Lafferty, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure how much of that name I, I'm going to remember on the next upcoming episode. But the more I see him, the more I'm going to remember him. Now, Mihawk, I wonder where Mihawk fits in in all in all of this. Okay? Because Mihawk's character is different. I'm, I, if I remember when he ran into, was it Dunkirk or whatnot? He tore, he, he teared their ship apart. So I believe his job is to destroy pirates ship that, that he runs into or something like that. So I'm not sure how he fits in, in all of this because his job is different than, I don't know, man, this is, this is, this is a heavy episode, y'all. Yeah? this episode is a heavy episode and the way they presented it the way they marketed this this whole time and the way they finally showcased all these big heavyweights all these big badasses um it is well thought out and uh we have two more episodes to go today so stay tuned for more episodes